Dude, I just wanted to make a quick a quick video on something that I think I'm noticing. Um, dude, I don't think anything I say uh, changes a fucking thing, which is fucking weird. Uh, it's almost like I have absolutely no fucking purpose. There's there's no reason, uh, dude. You want to know something? Why haven't you killed me yet? There's literally no fucking purpose for me being alive. Dude, if you have to ask me, you're talking about totally 100% fucking disposable fucking person. Like, uh, like you buy something that has, um, like packaging to it or whatever the fuck it is, and then after you eat whatever it is, um, you just throw away the fucking packaging. Um, so I think, dude, to be honest with you, I think whatever the fuck has been eaten, it's, it's, it's been eaten, okay? There is no reason to keep the packaging around, but for some reason, you fucking assholes are still, are still keeping it. Um, yeah, okay, like, that makes any goddamn sense at all, but he, dude, here's, here's the thing. Dude, I've been, dude, I've been saying this. I'm not exactly sure which one I'm supposed to say first, but, um, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna go with, um, uh, Jesus Christ, this is very simple, um, the idea that I'm, that I'm noticing, dude, there was like a homeless bum on, on a bike, and I can't wait for that fucking guy to give me the next Truman Show, uh, center of the fucking universe message, like, whatever the fuck, um, some kind of weird black hole sun shit, um, Dude, there's a guy on the fucking bike going through Stillwater. He's like Moses' uh, child or whatever, something stupid. Um, he's got a big, uh, he's got like facial. Dude looks, dude looks like he's from Christ's time. It's like he took a, like a time machine out uh, from Jesus. And um, maybe that's why he's driving about the, past the church. Dude, the, the point is this. Dude. The fucking guy, right, he's in, this is a while ago, he's in the fucking Sunoco gas station in, in Stillwater. Well, as you're, like, getting in there, and he's buying two packs of cigarettes. I think he buys a pack of Marlboro, some Marlboro cigarettes, and then a pack of USA Golds, and... I think that's all he bought, and I can't remember if he bought Marlboro. I do remember that he bought U U USA Gold. I can't remember exactly which color it was, but I do remember it was USA Gold. And, dude, he says thank you to the guy, but he doesn't, I don't, I don't think he says thank you to the guy, like, he's saying, like, thank you for the cigarettes and, like, your outstanding service. He's saying thank you to the guy, like, um, thank you, um, for fucking over this kid, because he knows that I'm present, and, like, I can only assume that there's, like, a lyric in his, in his, in his ear, do you know what I mean? Something, like, there's, like, a little pea, like, a little pea, green pea, split pea. Like, inside of his fucking ear. And, dude, and also, the shit that people are saying, dude, like, there's this guy, Mr. Bliss. Dude, he's saying, uh, the bunk bed. I sleep on a bunk bed. He's saying military, um, military, so there's, what the fuck is that? You know what, fuck that guy. I don't, I don't, I don't care, but, um. So, dude, there was just a guy over at the fucking Cumberland Farms, right? And he goes, he goes, thank you. And he's saying, like, thank you in, like, the same way um, 
that the guy at the Sunoco in Stillwater was saying thank you. Like, they're saying thank you, like... Not, like, thank you for whatever the fuck they bought. They're saying thank you for, like, fucking... Fucking over Truman. Or tr fucking me over. Do you know what I mean? Like, thank you. Thank you for fucking this kid over and accepting it as... Like, an acceptable... Like, there's no crimes against humanity. Like, the fact that his mother fled the Nazis. The fact that you got coronavirus going on. Like, not thank you for, like, useless garbage that doesn't add any value to anybody's life. Like, thank you. I, I, I pick up on that. Like, thank you. Uh, I also pick up on the idea that... Potentially, the last time I saw that guy on the bike, he's driving past the church. Is that a thing? I don't know. Dude, anyways, um... Dude, but they're both saying thank you. Like, thank you for fucking over this guy. So, getting to the point... Dude, I knew that this was going to be... Dude, I knew they were going to kick me off of that fucking stupid app. And I knew that this was going to be shorter. Um... And I think I know a lot of other things. Dude, um... So... Uh... I was saying on stereo, right? That... Uh... I've said it... Fucking... Dude, it's gotta be like... Ten... Going to... Like... At least five. Dude, at least... At least five times now. I'm saying... Thank you... Or no, not thank you. Uh... That the Fed, right, they just type into a computer, like, any fucking number that they want, right? Fucking anything. Like, it could be, like, a billion, a trillion dollars. Like, if the Chinese or whatever the fuck, obviously the Chinese are, realize this in, like, the, the, the uh, geopolitical structure of, like, what's going on is... Is way bigger than money because think about it if you can just generate infinite money uh dude there would there might not be any any wars or anything but dude they're just generating like they could type in any number like the fed could type type in any number into, the, into a computer right and and generate that number it could be ten thousand ten million uh 10 billion, 10 trillion, fucking, even higher fucking number than that, right? So, um, dude, and also with Bitcoin, if, like, you, if you saw Elon Musk on Saturday Night Live, where he's at, he's, like, at an Old West or whatever, like, Old Western, and he's, like, he's, like, how about we dig under, we dig up in the tunnels and come up under them or whatever, Right? Is that he's saying he said some other some other shit with we have Bitcoin like uh, c cryptocurrency, so they're they're not doing they're not creating wealth based on like a finite resource or like physical labor anymore. It's based on fucking just the stroke of a key, okay? So. And, dude, even if you didn't have computers, dude, you would still have people printing out goddamn, like, $100 bills on, like, fucking inkjet printers or some shit. Do you know what I mean? Dude, gu guaranteed. Dude, guaranteed people will be printing out, like, fucking $100 bills or, like, $50 bills, $20 bills. $100 bills or whatever on, like, laser printers or, like, ink shape printers, right? And that guy's like, thank you. Thank you. I was trying to feed my children, and you made it possible for me to have an income and a living and, and make it where I can, I can sustain my family and my way of life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Middle Eastern person. Without you, I would be nothing. I would have nothing. Uh, even though I'm part of weird secret societies and we have unlimited money, we can do whatever we want. Without you, I would be nothing. 
I would be nothing. I would, I would be, I would be nothing without you. Middle Eastern man, if it wasn't for you, I could not sustain my existence. It, it was all for you. You made these things possible. It, it was you, Middle Eastern man, and all the other weird people, like the Chinese and shit, the, all the other people of the world. It was all for you. You were the one who made these things possible for me and my family. If it wasn't for you, I'd be nothing. I'd have nothing. It was all because of you. You made it possible. I wouldn't know what to do without you. I wouldn't have gold or silver or platinum or palladium or copper or inkjet printers that print out hundred dollar bills in my garage. It was all because of you. Dude, what, what, is the, what is the thing? Um, the only thing I can think of how this works is Chi the Chinese. <clears throat> Dude, they're not, they're potentially, like when you go from, the only thing I can think of how this shit, no, actually that doesn't make any sense. So, uh, you want to know something? Does that make sense? Nope, it doesn't make any fucking sense. I was about to say something, but dude, I'm getting lost and you're like, there's a heaven and a God type shit. So, uh, <clears throat> dude, you want to know something? Good luck with slave labor, because, um, you want to know something? Something tells me that I don't think it's going to work out for you guys. Seriously, the whole slave labor thing, um, Nazi gulag slave labor, um, dude, I got news for you, you don't give me my fucking money after I worked on this house, dude, you're looking at a fucking nuclear meltdown, okay, just to let you know, nuclear meltdown, okay, so you're gonna have to grow another fucking Brian in a bag or some shit, okay, with, like, brain implants that you buzz them like a fucking uh, dog going through an electric fence or some shit. So, uh, yeah, cause, uh, dude, no fucking, uh, reward, no treat, no fucking work, okay?